The owner of the Patriots, Robert Kraft, although I think we should start calling him Bobby K. Bobby K. Just, just something, yeah. something a little cooler. Uh, had a big announcement about his girlfriend, his longtime girlfriend. Uh, she had a baby. Um, but he is not the father. That is what is really But he's uh, kind of people. acting like the father. But he's acting like the father and saying that he's happy uh, to help her raise this child. So Ricky, uh, Ricky Landers, or Ricky Noel, Noel Lander, uh, she's 38, he's 76. All right, let's get that out of the way. Doesn't matter, right? They're happy. They've been together uh, for a long time. Uh, but she gave birth last year, uh, which we didn't know before this morning. Uh, and then immediately everyone thought, all right, well, it's his know, baby. Robert Kraft has to be the father. Right. And he immediately wanted everyone to know he is not the father, but his kids, uh, that he does have, his kids are not happy about the arrival of uh, Ricky's new baby. Yeah, I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why would that be? I mean, the reality hmm. is that if he is, it, whether or not the kid is his or not, uh, if he is reportedly, reportedly we say, going to have a financial interest in the kid's life now and in its future, he might... Yeah, in, in other words, Van, things get divided by five instead of four. Yeah, if he changes <laughs> up the trust, now somebody might be a new baby in the owner's box there, man. And who wants that? You're already, you probably already mad enough you got to share with, with three people. It is the oldest conflict going when it comes to, like, second marriages or relationships. Mm -hmm. In his case, his wife died. Right. Yeah. But after she died and he hooked up with her, now, you know, this, this happens so much where the kids from the first relationship get all pissed off if there's another one that comes in. We did a story on but this, do you think, I, and I, I can't I, remember who it was, but I, we did I this story. I think it might be a different story if, if he and Ricky, it, yes, he met Ricky and they got married, or even if they didn't get married, but they had a child together, it's right? It's the same if thing. If they had a child together, then at least his other kids would go, look, that's our, that's our blood, right? That's our, he's our, our yeah, half sibling. Yeah, a lot sibling. of times, though, but here's the deal, though. A lot of times, though, there's been so much time that has passed by that you don't even view the new sibling as a new sibling. I know somebody. Really? Yeah, yeah it, it happens. You know, I have a little bitty baby a brother. Than money? I, I have a little bitty That's baby not. brother, and I, I, I love him. But you know, so I'm gonna have to rough him up a little bit to kind of make make sure that we're that we what? have the same relationship that I have with <laughs> my other brother. Well, that's not exactly what we were. Yeah, we weren't yeah. saying go no, beat no, up no, your no, siblings. No, that wasn't what we were talking look, about. If you're not no, beating no. up your siblings, you don't love them. But yeah. my point, my, my point is, I mean, that's but they're, true. They're, they're, but Ben, the reality is, and, and and this is true. I'm just talking as a lawyer now. I'm talking sure. that there that there is often animosity when there are you know grown kids, and then the father either has another kid or in a situation like this, yeah. another kid comes into the relationship where that, it looks like he can get a part that of the that estate. That happens a lot because the other part of it, the love or, or the trust or whatever feelings that you might have for your other siblings, even though you might not want to split money with them either, at least there's that. With this new sibling, if they're like 40 or 50, 60 years between you, the relationship isn't the same, so all you see is someone that's taken away from your part of the pie. Now, I'm yeah, not saying that yeah, he's, yeah, he's been with her how long? He's been with her five, for a while, like five, five years. years. Yeah. So their relationship ha has really seen some things. And remember, she came in and was there for Robert Kraft after his wife had just passed away, and he really credits her for having helped him get over that time. Now, so okay. he feels strongly for now, her. Now, one other point, and we'll let it go and we'll move on, but um, one thing that his kids from the you know original marriage should think about is, don't piss him off too much. Exactly. Because, because if he because adopts that child. If, if, well, even if he doesn't adopt the child, if they really go in the warpath against this kid, he, he could just say, well, screw you. I'll disinherit you from the will and give it all to the kid. And so now, you now, you're not, now, now you're getting none of the pie. That's right. Yeah, right. Like, like, and be, that happens. Listen, and that happens. Well, I said this morning, be nice. Be nice to dad because he's still the, <laughs> uh, be nice. Be, be grumpy. Suck your teeth. Stomp your feet. But be nice to dad. How you doing? Uh, my name is Thornton from Virginia. How you doing, man? I'm doing all right. What's up? What's up? I just think he's doing a good job just by uh, taking care of the child. You know what I'm saying? I know he's up in age, and she was more like a companion for him. Um, probably not his child, though. Well, it's not his child. Yeah, I mean, he's saying it's not his not his biological child. Why but... didn't Kraft go on Maury? That would have been fantastic. <laughs>